Hello everyone and welcome to this technical analysis video here at XM.com. We are in the middle of the week, so uh, we have some data behind us, the UK and Canadian CPIs, and therefore we will focus on the, on the upcoming releases, uh, the Euro area PMIs, as well as the Japanese and New Zealand uh, CPIs. So, getting the ball rolling with the Euro area data, traders will be looking for clues as to whether uh, the Eurozone economy continues to perform better than uh, previously feared, which is likely to allow them uh, to maintain bets of more hikes by the ECB. The data comes, uh, comes out on Friday. So, uh, we will be looking at uh, Euro dollar. Uh, the pair pulled back after it hit the resistance slightly above the 110.35 zone marked by the high of February 2nd. The pullback may continue for a while more, given that there is room for uh, the pair before it tests this, uh, uh, this uptrend line. And that view is also supported by, um, by our, by our uh, oscillators. We see that the RSI slid after hitting resistance uh, near 70. The MACD, although positive, lies uh, below its uh, trigger line. However, if the bulls are strong enough to, to to take charge uh, above that uptrend line and uh, if that happens after the PMIs we could see the pair um, testing again the 11035 zone the break of which could uh, set the stage for extensions towards the high of uh, March 2022 at 11175 a break higher will uh, intensify the bullish bias and may uh, may uh, may trigger extensions towards the highs of January and February 2022 at 114.80. For the outlook to turn bearish, uh, the pair may need to come down and break uh, below the 104.75 zone. This way the pair will be below this uptrend line, but also below all three of uh, the plotted moving averages, something that could encourage the bears to uh, to dive all the way down to the 102.15 zone marked by the low of uh, November 21st. Now, moving to dollar yen and the Japanese CPIs, uh, those are on uh, Friday schedule as well uh, during the Asian session. And with the Bank of Japan pushing against expectations of uh, more normalizing uh, steps uh, anytime soon, a further slowdown in uh, Japanese inflation could add uh, more credence to that view and weigh on the yen. Uh, dollar yen is currently uh, hovering near the 134.50 zone, where a break could pave the way towards the 138.15 area, uh, slightly above the high of uh, March 8th and also marked by the peak of uh, December 15th. Seeing that uh, the pair is uh, slightly above our uh, moving averages and also above this upset support line, the bias could be considered uh, slightly or let's say cautiously positive. For the outlook uh, to change to negative, uh, initially we may need to see a break below the round number of 130, which provided support here on um, March 24th. Something like that could open the way towards the low of uh, January 16th at 127.20. A break below that zone will confirm a lower low on the bigger time frames and uh, allow extensions towards the low of uh, March, the lows of March 30 and 31st of 2022 at around 121.25. Last but not least, we have uh, Kiwi dollar. Uh, we get uh, New Zealand's uh, CPI for the first quarter uh, tonight during the Asian session Thursday, with the year over year rate expected to have ticked down to 7.1% from 7.2%. Now, here we have uh, a neutral outlook. We see that the pair is trading in a consolidative manner. Uh, slightly above, uh, or, or let's say between the 061.90 and 063.90 zones. We also see that uh, all three of our plotted moving averages are pointing sideways, they are flat. So the outlook is, uh, the short term outlook is uh, neutral for now. Uh, for uh, the picture to turn bearish, we may need to wait for a break below 061.25. 
uh, such a break will confirm a lower low and may pave the way towards the 0.58 um, 40 barrier. On the upside, uh, we may uh, need to wait for a break above 0.65 a zone that offer strong resistance in several instances in, uh, in, in the past and also acted as a support uh, in this instance here. So a break above that zone could pave the way towards the 067.20 zone or the high of April 20, uh, 2022 at around 068.15. Our short-term momentum studies support the neutral outlook for now. The RSI is near its equilibrium 50 line while uh, the MACD uh, lies near uh, both its uh, zero and uh, trigger lines. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope you have uh, a great day.